landing gear softly touches down at your destination, finish off the day with some reverse thrust. Reverse thrust puts an exclamation mark at the end of any successful flight. For this project, we're using the CH Throttle Quadrant. To simulate a two-engine airliner, most people assign this lever as the spoiler, and this lever as the flaps, and these two levers as the throttles. Note that the throttles already have a slight detent. You can assign this as reverse thrust in the CH Control Manager. The CH Control Manager software is an amazing piece of software that uh, can assign many, many, many functions to your throttle quadrant. Uh, but it is a little complicated. It, it takes time and I didn't want to spend the time and I really only wanted to do one special thing, reverse thrust. So I did not install CH Control Manager, but I do have reverse thrust. I'll show you how I did it. See the two toggle switches directly below the throttles. We're going to assign these as the thrust reversers. Start Flight Simulator. Click Settings. Click Controls. Then click Buttons and Keys. Select the CH Throttle Quadrant from the drop-down list. And click Engines. In the assignment list, select the throttle decrease event and click change assignment. Click down one of the toggle switches and click OK. Repeat the process with the other throttle decrease event. Make sure the repeat slider is all the way to the right for both buttons. That means we have to hold down the buttons to engage reverse thrust. Remember to click OK when you are finished. OK, let's fly. Let's say that you just touched down, spoilers extended, throttles idle, move your hand directly below the throttles, hold down the toggle switches. Reverse thrust engaged. Below 60 knots, cancel reverse thrust. Wiggle the throttle just a little to verify reverse thrust is off. And brake as needed. Nice landing, Captain!